One thing you can say about politics these days, it's not boring. And joining us for the latest play-by-play -play is Concord Congressman Mark DeSaunier on the Democratic side of the bench. And we have to open up with the bombshell in the Bronx. This week, longtime, 10-term Congressman Joe Crowley, who was seen as a possible successor to Nancy Pelosi, got knocked out in a Democratic primary by a 28-year-old bartender, Bernieite, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. What is the story there? There. Only 24,000 people in a congressional district with 750,000 people showed up to vote. Uh, she was ran a good campaign. She's a dynamic, articulate uh, young person um, who was expressed herself as being to the left of uh, Joe Crowley. Joe Crowley's pretty liberal. He is. Yeah. He is. I mean, and by our, uh, most America's standards, they'd go, wait, this is left versus far, far left. Right. Is that the, what the tug at the Democratic Party right now? Well, this goes back through the primary um, with uh, Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. Is are Democrats progressive enough? Now, she managed to, he, t 10 terms he's been in. He should have been a knock in, lock in. She comes in, this only 24,000 people. That is a great picture, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 24,000 people bothered to even vote. Obviously, he didn't ignite anybody. But he, he, he according to news reports, he was 36 percentage points ahead in a poll he did three weeks before. He spent over a million dollars. He knew he had to, he had to, had a campaign, and he lost. And she, she, she won. knocked on doors. She, she did. went out she and did. did the same yeah. old stuff. Yeah. Talk to people as opposed to talk at them. No, you got to remember that as a candidate. I walk precincts. I've been in elected office for 30 years. You have to stay connected with your constituents. And nowadays, more than ever. They appreciate it. You know, it's it's interesting though. This does underscore one of the one of the challenges going on in the Democratic Party. If it, this works, maybe in the New York, but that district had drastically changed. Correct? When right. Crowley first got in there, it was primarily it was it was Irish called, Catholics, Italian Catholics, and he was the epitome of that. His father was a New York police officer, as his grandfather. It became more of a United Nations neighborhood. Yes, yes. So it was but very both were exposing, expounding liberal progressive politics. Right. So the question is how liberal and progressive do you get, right? Because you have the Bernie side versus the Clinton side, so right? So there are 435 seats in the U.S. Congress for 322 million people. What works there does not work in western Pennsylvania where Connor Lamb, a moderate um, Democrat, won that seat from a Republican. So you've got to reflect your constituents. Okay, but within the Democratic Party, in order to reflect your constituents, you've got to win that primary to face that Republican. Right. We're seeing it here in California right. with the number of swing seats. How do you get, <laughs> how do you tell people in the rest of the place, okay, this happened in New York, but it can't happen in Fresno? Well, it's retail politics. You've got to appeal to your to the people who vote for you. So what works in the Bronx and in Queens is not going to work in western Pennsylvania or, or Ohio. Is the Democratic Party facing its own Tea Party? In a manner of speaking, but I think it's a natural debate. I mean, the country's changing. Politics obviously is changing. Trump has really gotten people obviously very upset about politics. So we have a debate. That's what democracy is about. And, but the, what people have to remember is this country is very different. And if you don't do the basics of connecting with your voters and reflecting them in your policy decisions and what you propose, you're not going to get elected. Yeah, and that's the bottom line right. in politics, because if you don't get elected, you yeah. don't get to do anything. <laughs> you, get to do anything. <laughs> you get to go home and sit on the couch. I want to thank you for joining us this morning, Congressman Mark DeSaunier, who, by the way, does come out every weekend and usually has town meetings and knocks on doors. All right. All right? So get out there and knock on a couple I'm, of more. I've got four things today. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Now.